in today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over this look right here, inspired by the Black Canary from the TV series Arrow. To start off with, I'm priming my eyes using my Rimmel concealer, and then just setting that with my L'Oreal True Match Press Powder. I'm just using a contour brush for that. And I'm just lining up some sellotape with my lower lash line and my eyebrow. Then I'm taking Wet n Wild's Mono Eyeshadow in the shade Panther. I'm taking a very fine brush and then just outlining my crease with this. This is just to get the eyeshadow on to there, just to get the basic outline. It looked like she had a really cut crease and a wing with this, but that just could have been the way that they edited the promotional photo that I'm using as inspiration for this look. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just doing a normal cat eye flick with this and making it quite thick at the end and of course that cellotape really helps to make it nice and clean on the outside. Then I'm taking my Maybelline gel eyeliner and with a very thin angled liner brush I just deposited that gel on the outside of the wing and then use a finer brush to push that gel liner into the crease so that you don't get anything you don't get a lot in there and you can manipulate it a lot more And just remove the sellotape and you've got this little wing. Then I'm lining my waterline and tight line using my remote special eye eyeliner pencil. Bring it all the way into the tear duct because her eyes were very, very well lined. And just curling my eyelashes. And then for mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal Volume and Lashes Mascara in the Feline version. I'm just applying this to my top lashes only. For foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I'm just using my old Techniques Buffing Brush to apply this over my skin. You can use whatever foundation that you like. This is just the one that I decided to pick today. For concealer and to highlight, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in, in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm drawing a little triangle underneath my eyes, a line down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. And then I'm just buffing that out using my Real Techniques Flat Foundation Brush, I think it is. With the concealer, it's best to use patting motions to blend it out, otherwise you'd be moving your foundation everywhere and it just it just wouldn't blend in as nicely as if you just pat it. I just took it up to my brow bone just to kind of fix any anything that went wrong with the eyeshadow and then I'm just using my fingers to press it in a little bit more. To set everything I'm using my L'Oreal Too Much Press Powder again. I'm using a combination of my Real Techniques Contour Brush and my Real Techniques Powder Brush. Then for blush, I'm going in with my Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in the shade Gorgeous Berries. This is a deep kind of purple shade that I think would go well with this look. I used my Real Techniques Bold Metals Blush Brush to apply this. If you have a heavy hand like I did, go back over your blush with your foundation brush that you use and that will just blend it out a bit more. For bronzer, I'm using the Body Shop's Honey Bronzer in the shade Fair Matte. And I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush just to apply this all over my skin. Because I just wanted to do my brows last, I'm using my Soap and Glory Archery Pencil. And just using the spoolie end to brush the hairs into place and then using the pencil end just to fill them in.
start with the lips, I use my NYX lip liner in the shade Plum. And then I turned it onto its side and filled my lips in. I use about three lip products for this just to try to get a shade similar to the one that they use on Black Canary. And then follow that up I'm using the NYX matte lipstick in the shade Alabama and going over that. Then I took this lipstick palette from Sleek. I think this is the Wad Showgirl and I took this lipstick shade Vegas. And I used a Real Techniques detailer brush to apply this all over my lips. And then I went back to Panther with a precision brush from Sephora and then just took that underneath my lower lash line just to make it a bit more spookier and darker. I cannot explain what I'm saying. And that's it. All you need is a mask and your black canary. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye!